Thank you very much, Jean and everyone. Uh, those were my remarks, actually. But, no, I am very honored. Uh, I want to ask first, how many of you were a part of the formation, the birth of the charter schools in one way or another 30 or so years ago? Anyone here? Can you stand up, please? <coughs> Joe Nathan, I saw you. But, uh, you know, these are the people that made it. And it started on, on a napkin in, in Itasca, uh, up north. And a couple of people getting together. You know, sometimes you might be at a bar or whatever, and you're just putting down some ideas. That's how it started. A couple of people. And Joe Nathan, you've been a hero of mine throughout my legislative career. And I'm so happy that you're, you're going strong yet. So. Uh, Thank you for the acknowledgement. I also want to acknowledge uh, Representative Linda Slocum, who's been a true champion and continues to serve. Uh, I uh, had the honor of serving with Ember Reichgott Young, the, uh, the senator who helped bring the legislation forward. Uh, she was a mentor of mine. I was happy to continue sponsoring the, the uh, various bills that you've seen there. And one of the keys for the things that we could, when we could get things done, it was bipartisanship. And when I chaired education, I wish I would have had that gavel over the past four years. I didn't. But when I did, I formed subcommittees. And we formed one on charters, or especially after the uh, legislative audit report. We got Senator Jen Olson, and I hope she's gotten one of your awards. And Senator Kathy Saltzman, a, a Republican and a Democrat, and I said, ladies, put your thoughts, get testimony, put together a package. And they did it in a bipartisan factor and come, and that's how you do things. You work together and you have a commitment to students, to principal, and let the process define what those outcomes should be. And that's how we nearly got to the finish line on some other items. In the Senate, it was all good. But I uh, want to thank so many of the great uh, colleagues that I have worked with, and uh, Senator Olson and Senator Saltzman especially did great work on the charter schools. And I've been happy to author and co-author so many items because I care deeply, just like each of you does about the students, the staff, and our future, because it's essential for our democracy. So thank you for the high calling for, that you're all involved in. The, you have a three-point challenge, I guess, in the strategic plan. And I would suggest that's always going to be a challenge for fair financing, equitable financing, for rational policy better be a <laughs> expectation, and on the building issue especially. You're going to get there. You have to be persistent. Almost made it in 2010 on some of these things, but you never, ever give up. And one way, too, to be effective, and I know most of you are aware of it, and I know how busy you are, but yeah, there's an election going on, right? And who's going to be deciding uh, the next budget state? Why? It'll be the 2023 legislature. Yeah, potentially after the November election, there could be a special session to uh, invest some of the uh, billion dollars that's still left on the table for education. That's not as likely to happen until the session starts in 23. So get to know who the state senator and state rep, and there may be multiple ones in your area. Invite them to your schools. Have the parents, staff, talk to them. The charters in my district have always done that. I've embraced that. I love it. I look forward to going to the various open houses. And I'm sure your legislators will do that as well if you ask them. Then it makes it easier when Gene is putting out the message and the staff team to call your legislator, there's an awareness. Remember, you know, it's pretty tough to try to make friends with someone the day you need them, right? So right now, you've got to plant those seeds 
and I would offer that challenge uh, to do that, and then you're going to be much more successful in the joint mission that we all share. So thanks again for the award. I congratulate you for your service. Uh, as for my future, uh, we shall see. Uh, I, I've been doing this all my adult life, actually, when I was, I was first elected to our local school board at age 21. And uh, it's 50 years later, and I love public education, and there's a great deal of drive and interest. I'll still be involved, but it's to be defined. Uh, if there's ways I can help you, let me know. I'll do whatever I can. Again, thank you very much. Peace be with you.